Actually, can you flip the thing where I can see it? Yeah. Let me, I don't know if I want to use this or not. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I didn't know that came out. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Would you rather... So just tell me when you're prepped over there and ready. Okay, are you ready? You All right. Go ahead. Three, two. All right, so, Sir Lana, it's been a while since we've done this, uh, uh, playing uh, a game of Would You Rather. Um, and I think you've got some enlightening Would You Rather do this or that over there on your screen. So why don't we get this started? Okay. First one that pops up is, Would you rather be known for something good or be unknown for something great like curing cancer. Hmm. Well, you know, I'd have to. That's that's. A I know you, <laughs> so I know the answer to this. <laughs> um, and you do have to pick one. Okay. Well, I'm going to pick the one that's uh, uh, the first one. The being known. Being known for something good. Well, sixty-nine uh, percent of people pick the unknown, and you're in the thirty-one percent category. Okay. You selfish. <laughs> Uh, well, I, you know, I, uh, I don't know. I just, I, I'm skipping the next question. All right, go with the next question. <laughs> <laughs> You've done both of those. <laughs> You've already done that one. Okay, here's one. Mm -hmm. One was, uh, would you rather wear heels or wear a dress? And I think you've done both, so it's a moot point. Oh, well, thanks for just putting that out there. <laughs> I think you've done both. But I mean, yeah, in the, in no the, point in the it. theater that I've done, yeah, you know, yeah. So, okay, would you rather... Mm -hmm have x-ray vision yeah. or have laser vision and i don't really know what laser vision would give you like scott well, from you, i guess it'd be, you could use it like a weapon of some kind or to thing but uh, i don't I, think x-ray i, would I be really more useful. i think that, that that somebody who asked this question is like kind of a kid like ooh, ooh i could see through your dress kind of thing and uh, um but if i had to pick between one or the other uh god that would be kind of terrible to have you know is it 100 percent all the time you'd have the power yeah, it's like, can you turn it on and off that's right. the thing they don't See, they don't specify like uh scott summers in in the x-men he had to wear them he had to wear that. those glasses yeah. yeah but he could still see yeah, normally. yeah exactly um so which one laser x-ray i think i'm gonna go with x-ray because I'd hate to have laser eyes. Well, you're somebody. in the majority. 66% yeah. of people would rather have x-ray vision. Yeah, I mean, cause you, could you imagine, you know, like, uh, uh, either you'd have to keep your eyes closed or <laughs> um, have some kind of special glasses. I'd always worry that I would be killing somebody, uh, you know. <laughs> okay, the next one I'm going to ask you because I already know the answer. It's well, hysterical. Pretty, it's, 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 it's I'm not going like to say what the answer know is. The answer to a lot of these. It's because I know you. Yeah. Okay. Would you? Rather, would you rather chill with Eminem or chill with Jay Z? Wow. Um. I don't know if that means being locked in a meat locker with them or. No, hanging out, you know, and uh, I hope it means that and not the uh, chill and Netflix and, you know, uh, but, um, hmm, I think I'm going to go with Eminem. I think Eminem's more talented. Well, yeah, it's not as irritating as the other yeah. guy. So, okay, I'm going to pick chill with Eminem. Mm -hmm. You're in the majority with 71% of people wanting to chill with Eminem over 29% with Jay-Z. Right. Okay, that's too controversial. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. Controversial. Okay, this one's stupid. But if you had to pick, right? Okay. It's well that's the purpose. It's fun and we we go and we learn things. <laughs> Would you rather walk barefoot in a Lego factory or walk barefoot on burning hot coals? Now notice they did not specify you're in a Lego factory, you're in a factory. There's no Legos on the floor. I guess that's a That's logical. a loophole. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to take the Legos uh, on uh, because yeah, eighty yeah. percent of people did because I think they mm -hmm. they understood that if you're in a working factory, they're mm -hmm. not going to have stuff all over the floor. That's a safety hazard. Right. Yeah. Oh, should I should I get one that's so easy and so obvious? We'll just throw uh, you know throw a couple. A couple yeah, keep going. I already know the answer to this because I know you. Would you rather ha uh, get twenty thousand dollars worth of jewelry mm -hmm. or get ten thousand dollars worth of electronics? Hmm. Now the only reason I would do jewelry is because if some of that was gold, pure gold, you can cash that in for more money later. And and, and sometimes that stuff holds value or increases. And, so yeah. I'm going to go with the jewelry. Yeah, because because I could can always hawk it and I could always it. sell the jewelry at some point to get well, the electronics. The electronic, yeah, stupid is electronics because they have no value. But 63 percent of people picked electronics, but only 37 percent picked jewelry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going with the jewelry because of the value. Right. Uh, no, that's... Did, did I get that right in your eyes? I mean, did you think I would pick that? I really thought you'd do electronics, but yeah. I think I talked you out of it. No, I I, I, I would definitely Here's, go with the jewelry with the simple fact that... It's got more value over and, time. And, yeah, and I, uh, $100 worth of diamonds uh, is worth... Uh, Whatever. Yeah, you know, or unless the value goes up anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, this one I know the answer for you. I won't say what it is. Would you rather be a contestant on Wheel of Fortune or be a contestant on Jeopardy? Well, uh, um, I'm only going to do this. Well, uh, I'm going to be a, a contestant on Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, because you're you're smug. <laughs> Seventy four percent chose Wheel of Fortune over the twenty six percent or Jeopardy because Jeopardy I, seems hard. I, I, I'm not uh, saying that I I'm not inept. To where I can't play Jeopardy, it's just uh, I think I would be better at uh, yeah. Will of Fortune. Well, Will of Fortune I, does I think, involve some physical Will, stuff. Yeah, Will of Fortune is fun. You get I to think. turn that. I, I feel wheel. like uh, Jeopardy's like uh, my final exams at college or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're exactly right. You are exactly right. Okay, let's see. Um, this is sort of strange. This is going to go back to our childhood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> would you rather be? Famous for inventing the whoopee cushion or be famous for inventing the snap bracelet? Which the one has the more longevity? Um, well, the, the the whoopee cushion is the gift that keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's that's the one I'm going to go with. I would go with that, too, because, I mean, everybody knows the whoopee cushion, whereas the snap bracelet was a <laughs> moment in time, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you, let's see. So you're doing the whoopee cushion. That's that comes very close to an even break. Fifty-four percent choosing the whoopee cushion over forty-six percent the snap bracelet. Yeah. So whoopee over. Oh, I love this next question. I love this. This is like a dream. If you knew you were going to fail a test, would you rather rip up the exam paper or walk out laughing? Well, I, I would imagine that if you're under so much pressure, you'd be laughing your way out of that class. But, uh, um, yeah, I guess I would just, uh, yeah, I would, I, it's, it, yeah, I would do that. I would laugh, laugh my way out of the class. 81% chose to laugh it out rather than being vicious at 19%. It's like, uh, blank this thing, I'm out. Okay, I don't know who comes up with some of these questions, but because this is the most bizarre one I've seen, I'm going to ask you this. Okay. Would you rather be constantly followed by 32 ducks for the rest of your life or have four meters long arms? And I don't know how long four meters is. Mm -hmm. Do you? Uh, that would be like from where I'm sitting to to the, to the buffet uh, or buffet. Is it a well? It, it's like from here to almost the kitchen. Really, that's mm -hmm. a little. They wouldn't be useful at that point. So uh, I guess the ducks. The ducks, because that's kind of adorable and hilarious at the yeah. same time. And it can feed you. And seventy-three percent of people chose that. Yeah. You get hungry, you know. You just take one of those oh, ducks and kill them. I got to ask you this because I know you're a fan. Okay. Would you rather? Bring John Lennon and George Harrison back to life and reform the Beatles today, or 
go back to 1963 and go to every Beatles concert from then until 1970 until they broke up. I would probably go back in time, back in time. And, and see them as they were versus... Because it'll never be the same. Yeah, they wouldn't be the same. And I don't... Ooh, yeah. that's if, close. It, oh, it is? 49% wanted to bring them back from the dead. 51% mm -hmm. wanted to go back in time. Yeah, I think it's it would be more interesting to see them actually perform and, you know, as they were at that, you know, various states in that time. This one is also obvious. Would you rather be a Pokemon trainer or a zombie slayer? Zombie slayer. Neither one of those is real. Carl! <laughs> no, that's too real. That's too real. That's no, no. No, we know the answer to that one. Hey, <laughs> These are too obvious. Do me a favor. Okay, here's a great one for well, you. Hold on. Kind of break in between before, it's, you know, let so I can edit, you know. Okay. Yeah, so they're much cleaner. Would you rather fight Cybermen or fight Daleks? It's mm. a perfect question. Daleks. Axe time and I. Are they easier than the Cybermen or? I think I, I like, uh, you know, they're the classic Doctor Who villain. Okay. I mean, and Cybermen are like, <clears throat> you know, close, but. Kind of lame. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Cybermen. Well, oddly enough, you did not pick the popular choice. Oh, so it was Cybermen? Only 38% chose Daleks. I guess <laughs> cyborgs are cool. 62 percent wanted Cybermen to Well, that's, fight. that's only because people are scared to fight the Daleks. Want to have another zombie? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, here's the situation. A horde of 400 zombies is quickly approaching, which I think is wrong because how can zombies quickly do anything? Right. So, with that in mind, would you rather fight the zombies alongside a dragon, you're using a crossbow, or fight the zombies alongside four gorillas, you're using an assault rifle? Now, are the gorillas the musical group, or you know, or just these are the actual animal? Um, as the, I the, think they'd be doing their own thing, you know. Is the dragon fly? Does the you dra know, dragon see, they fire? they have too many questions left. Yeah, so you have I to guess, make up your own. Yeah, you know. Do scenario. I get? Do I get the, how, how big is the dragon? I mean, it. None it, of it, this is known, babe. Um, I don't think gorillas would be very effective because, you know, they would probably go after the zombies and then become zombie become gorillas. Become zombie gorillas. Um, and, well, and I don't know how many bites it takes to get a, a dragon uh, dead. Uh, God, but, a zombie dragon would be terrible. Yeah, that would be pretty well, which terrible. Which one are you going to awesome. pick? Um, and I get a crossbow with the, with the dragon. The dragon. Yeah, so it would be like Daryl. Um <laughs> I Carl. guess, yeah, so I, I think I'm going to go with the dragon. Ooh, that's somewhat close. 60% want the dragon, 40% want gorillas. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to find a good one for you. All right. <laughs> so just dumb. Um, just a quickie. Would you rather not be able to sit or not be able to stand? Um, not be able to stand. That is surprising. 60% of people chose not to be able to sit over 40% not being able to stand. Hmm. I'd love to know what their reasoning is behind that. Well, in this situation, it's kind of cut dry, you know. Uh, um, not being able to sit, I guess, could you lay down? I mean, you know, what are the circumstances where you couldn't sit? I know, I know. Could you plank? I mean, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Quiring minds want to know. Well, here's one to feed your ego. Okay. Let's say this: Would you rather be Napoleon or be Julius Caesar? Uh, Hot tip: They're both dead. Well, true. Um, <laughs> You'd be dead. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'd be more on the lines of of uh, Napoleon because uh, you know. He's not quite on the level with Julius Caesar. I'd have to be worried there. about people backstabbing me to death if I was Julius Caesar. Whereas Napoleon, you just got to worry about the Russians, Winter, and England. Mm -hmm. Well, 61% of people would rather be Julius Caesar. <laughs> they don't know history, do they? No, they don't. Okay, would you rather sound like Kermit or Miss Piggy? Or look like Miss Piggy? 
sound like Kermit or look like Miss Piggy. or look like Miss Piggy. I guess I would rather sound like Kermit. At least you'd be amusing. Yeah, eighty-six percent of people chose to do that. Hi, oh Kermit the Frog here, live from Space Boy Universe. Oh, it's the Universe Show. Here's one I like to know. One month of distress. Would you rather be forced to walk around for an entire month without pants, or shed all your hair for an entire month? Hmm. Uh, well, the pants thing, would I still have underwear? See, it doesn't specify. I would do the hair thing. I guess, you know, it wouldn't be that bad for a month to lose all my hair. This is fairly close. Mm -hmm. 44% wanted to no pants, but 56 said they would lose the hair. Because I guess that will come back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some of these are just crazy... I don't know how they come up with. Okay, this this was this one's applying to you very well. Would you rather have a meteoric rise in a painful hard crash from fame, or remain completely unknown your entire life, which we're kind of doing anyway? <laughs> um, the first one was meteoric rise to fame, and a crash and burn. And the second one is. Nobody will ever know you. The reality here is that, you know, you you show where, you know, mediocre, mediocre rise to fame and in a crash. Meteoric. Meteoric. Not mediocre. Mediocre? Not mediocre. Meteor. Meteoric mean astronomical. Yes. So, in other words, you, you go, you obtain fame that's like beyond belief, and then you crash hard. But the thing is, think about people that have done that. They seem to have, like, they become B-list celebrities mm -hmm. on reality TV. Um, I think I'm going to go with that one. Um, sorry, I got distracted. So you, you, want, you want the fame? Yes, fame, just like Bowie says. Well, 66% of people found that was too intense for them, and they chose to be unknown. Over 34% want the fame and crash and burn. You did understand the question. You'll be famous, awesome, everybody will know your name, and then nothing. I mean, you'll plummet. You could be in rehab. You might die. I mean, well, that's just it. Yeah, you know, um, as long as I don't die, you know, it's a, it's a comeback story. If uh, you know, uh, he rose to fame, but then he got connected to drugs, and but then he went to rehab, and here's his story, his great comeback. It doesn't say anything about the comeback. Mm -mm. And say, see, there's a lot of unknown around these ambiguity, things. Uh, ambiguity. Ambiguity. <laughs> you can, so you have to just kind of make your own scenario to justify what you choose. Maybe that's the point of would you rather. So you have to talk it out. <laughs> right. It's to have a conversation. But if you could only eat one and never eat the other ever again, would you rather eat waffles or eat pancakes? If I can only eat one, but not the other? The rest of your life. Rest, I, I, I not, not exclusively, not every meal, but like, <laughs> if you choose this one, you can never have that one again. Uh, what do you think I'm going to pick? Pancakes. I'm going to pick pancakes. Yeah, I know you. <laughs> I mean, nothing wrong against waffles. Okay. Know. This is, this, apparently, this is one of these difficult moral dilemmas that we face. Because 49 percent chose waffles, 51 percent chose pancakes. That is wicked close mm -hmm. to half and half. Makes me feel better uh, about well, you, humanity. You're, you're a waffle person. Mm -hmm. I'm a pancake person. Uh, well, we just did that one. Okay. We just did that one too. Okay. I think I might know the answer to this one. Because <laughs> the alternative's not good. Would you rather give a speech to the whole nation or have to sleep with tarantulas on your bed um you already know the answer to this one speech uh, speech speech 91 percent <laughs> yeah, see nobody i mean I, but I, the nine percent that, that chose the spiders i'm like i don't want to know these people well that might be like cinnamon toast ken's wife uh, yeah. she loves her tra triantula why do you call it triantula uh i don't know we're moving on <laughs> I'm trying to find one that actually makes sense and that we haven't already done. And well, there's so that's why all there's, these haven't been done on the camera. Well, some of them are repeating. I just asked no, you. I see. Okay, so that's why. 
Um, this is a, a pointless question, but I'll ask you. Okay. Would you rather always drive under the speed limit? It's actually written as under the speeding limit, which I don't know why, or always drive over the speed limit. I think I already. I think you do one of these anyway. Um, I think unconsciously. I, unconsciously, I'm always driving over the speed limit just to get where I need to go. Well, I'm just gonna put that you, you're over. Um, that's almost a split. Fifty six forty four. You're in the minority. Hmm. Okay. Would you rather attempt to survive a computer uprising, like in the Terminator films, or attempt to survive a zombie outbreak, like Dawn of the Dead? Um, that's a tough one. Um, uh, I think I'm going to go with the zombie. It's because you like zombies. No, I, I think that I have a better chance with zombies versus technology because, you know, technology, you know, um, I just, I, I think I have a, a more fear of technology, you know, like mm -hmm. like a Terminator coming after you versus. Okay, so 66% um, of people prefer zombies over technology. Now, what is our time here? What do you mean? There's time. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm watching it. Just. We've got. I'm trying to find do, a good one. Do one more and we'll... Would you rather watch Seinfeld or watch The Simpsons? I know that this one is. Uh, you know, I haven't seen The Simpsons in a while. I mean, not The Simpsons. Um, uh, Seinfeld in a while. I wouldn't mind watching that again. Although, there's always new content on The Simpsons, so... Yeah, you can watch that forever. Mm -hmm. um, so, which one would you rather do? I think I'm going to go with Simpsons. Yeah, most people prefer animated comedy over the boring white bread blandness of Jerry Seinfeld. That's at 82%. Would you rather eat 50 chicken nuggets or eat six Big Macs? Mm. And you're like, well, why not both? <laughs> <laughs> not at one time. I wouldn't eat like 56 nuggets with the, uh, you know, the Big Macs. Um, does, it, does it come with any barbecue sauce? I mean, barbecue it or sauce? If I didn't say it that but, it's not on the question because that'd be kind of dry to eat those i'm gonna go with big macs okay you the six big macs mm -hmm. that's interesting apparently people like those nasty nuggets at 63 percent versus the six big macs so nasty oh this is a good one because i know the answer would you rather <laughs> Never read another book or never hear another song. Never read another book. Uh, that was easy peasy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. 82% of the public agrees with you. Bunch of doofuses. Mm. Um, never shave again or never cut finger toenails ever again. Well, that's a running... <laughs> that's kind of... A... <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if I... Uh, well, I think... Uh, Oh, I know you'd really love me because then I'd look like uh, I'd be yeah, but uh, you, yeah, fixing you don't, cars or something like that. You don't mention who cuts the toenails in this anyway, scenario. Anyway, that's not the point. The point never is, shave again? Uh, never shave again. Yep. 69% of people agree with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a good one for you. Would you rather control the elements, which I, I guess that means earth, wind, fire, mm -hmm. you know, or control time? Like oh, Doctor Strange. I would write time is what time, I time, yeah. time, time. Let's see. Yeah. Sixty five percent of the public would rather control time over oh, the elements. Sixty five percent? Well, it's thirty five sixty five. So that yeah, makes but still, I mean, yeah. Ah, I time is definitely t uh the the thing that I would So do. Yeah, I mean that's assuming you can manipulate time and the events in the timeline. Mm -hmm. Not just go back and like, hey, I went back to 84 and saw an arcade thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went back in time and uh, got to see the Beatles from the beginning to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how you did it, huh? That's how I did it, yes. That's exactly how you did it. I'm trying to find you one more, mm, one uh, more. good question. Okay. Because we're about to... Yeah. Let me find you a good one. Oh, these are not good. No, no, that's too racy. Okay. 
here's here's one to find out if you're a good person or not. <laughs> Would you rather have the job of your dreams and always be broke or have a job you despise but with loads of wealth? Um I think I would be happy with doing the job that I I love and be broke. And in a way I kind of do that. Yeah, I say we're almost living this this scenario but without the wealth. All right. Actually, you're kind of living somewhat both in a way. Well, 64% of the population is a bunch of greedy so-and-sos mm -hmm. who would rather have a job they hate but loads of wealth because I guess that makes it all worth it. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? And there you go. Would you rather? Yup. Yes, I did to do thing. Mm-hmm. Bazinga. Um, and before, when you stop the camera, can you take some pictures? 